kind of just felt like recording this, but in terms of all the new cards in the selection pack, I feel like they're pretty damn mid. And I guess I should be a little bit salted that I actually didn't get any copies of, like, Gentrude, but whatever. Like, this card here. I'm pretty sure this is just an anime card. It, I don't think that's actually playable. Scareclaw, Straddle, Fairy Lances, Extra Pendulum. Uh, this, this is kind of ass. But I guess you can't search it off of that, like, one Pendulum searching card. If it has the word Pendulum in it, apparently you can just add it to your hand, so you can just add it, I guess. Scareclaw, Pendulum Scale. This is kind of searchable. You have two cards in your pendulum zone, supply the falling effect based on the difference in the pendulum scales. If there is no difference, destroy two spell traps on the field. One, two, or three, you can add a certain level pendulum monster. This is a normal trap, not a continuous, okay. If it's seven or higher, return up to two cards from your pendulum zones to the hand, then you can special summon one pendulum monster from your hand. This doesn't seem to do too much, but kind of okay for the event at least I guess pretty mid in terms of the new card so we we have Valance's Omega Judgment but I mean I guess this works okay with pens let's just destroy two cards your opponent controls I mean, for the anti-spell event, it, it'll be okay if you're playing pens, I guess, because that would be a face-up monster card in your spell and trap zone, I suppose. And then... Odd Eyes Buster, or Odd Eyes Bubbler is new. Uh, uh... Battle Step Pendulum Effect. This can special summon itself, so that card's probably playable. Probably good, I guess, in some way, shape, or form. This card, though, eh. I don't even know how you summon this. I mean, it might have a use, not sure. This new Valance card. No clue what it does. Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon. Eh. Does this card do anything? You can add a ritual. This. this. This just burns your opponent every time they special summon from the extra deck, and you only burn for 300, so it's not meaningful. Okay. You have a spell negate. This is only a spell negate. Oh, it's a spell negate that cheats out an Odd Eyes monster, so that can go into another negate, so actually this card's pretty good. And then, I'm pretty sure all of the cards from here to here, Soul of the Supreme King and Scareclaw Tryheart, all of those URs are actually completely garbage, and Supreme King Zark is just an old card, so we, we don't talk about Zark. Does this do anything? This can set up the summoning of Zark really fast, actually. But I mean, you can already kind of set up Zark. This still takes like two turns, I guess. Cost half your life points. And you summon a copy of Zark. It just kinda exists. And then I guess you probably would wanna maybe destroy the Zark or something. Yeah, destroy Zark, place it in the pendulum zone. I guess is what you would want to do with this. Then when your opponent activates a spell card or effect, then 
you can vanish and scrap your creator into one Supreme King's desire from your face up monsters. Actually, this is the monsters. Uh, wait, what? This is weird. Then you can special summon each a Pendulum, XYZ, Synchro, and Fusion Dragon monsters from your hand deck, extra deck, and or graveyard. Hmm. That, that's literally just from anywhere, actually. This card seems like it might be good, actually, then. Like, kinda. Not completely sure what all the Pendulum Dragons do, but that special summons them, so I don't know what they actually do when they're all special summoned, but I guess in terms of cards beyond the Pendulums, probably good. And then we have Soul of the Supreme King. We have Ice Pendulum Graph, and then... Maybe some of these new pen cards are good, like Gintrude, Classic Rebo, Back Rebo, Valet. Everything else I looked at, pretty mid looking. And speaking of which, the amount of new cards here, it's not that great, actually. All of the rare cards and the normal cards, like, the majority of them are actually old cards, which isn't a big deal because they're just normal rare cards, they're pretty whatever. In terms of the SR cards, a bit more of them are new, but like, eh. And then we have these Valence cards. Pretty UR heavy, so whenever the, like, whenever this selection goes away, I don't know if Valence gets much better or anything, but you you'll need copies of all these i guess if those cards need to be run at like three of that would be pretty horrid this scarequal lightheart has a once per dual effect not exactly sure what this does though and then we have Musical Sumo Dice Games, which is, honestly, this card shouldn't even be a UR in my opinion. It's just a random, like, kind of F F FTK card or a win con card. It has a weird, whack win con on it. It's just... It's just here, I guess. So in terms of the selection pack, like, everything in here is pretty mid. Like, even if we just go to the last one... Cosmic Ocean. Like, aside from Beyond the Pendulum, I don't think anyone really cares about any of the cards in that selection for the most part. I guess the Zark card and the pen the Pendulum Ritual, those are kind of cool. Those might be useful for something. No clue. Like, look at all the newly added cards here and how they're just way more impactful. Like, you have Fish Sonar, I guess. Princess Dive. Abyss Shark's good too. Uh, I don't know much about the rest of these, but... Wait, are none of the normal cards here new? I guess Jellyfish. Leaf. Place. Place? Submarine Toy Ride. And Rebirth of the Seventh Emperors are new. That relates to normal monsters, okay. I mean, this selection... Kind of mid, unless you care about Umi or Marincess. I guess this, these Nash Knight cards were kind of cool. Don't really know exactly what you do with them, but I guess... They put Advent here, which is cool, I guess if you care about flu. So in terms of selection packs recently, they've been pretty mid, but you know, whenever they release Sprite or Tear, it'll just be the format of suffering. So you, do you guys think maybe they'll limit the Tear or Sprite cards before the selection drops or when the selection drops for them? I mean, personally, I'm hearing a lot of horror stories from the TCG and OCG players about, like, Tear and Sprite. 
So, I don't feel like we have much to look forward to either. So, I'm just hoping to maybe have Elk unbanned one of these days. Doubt it, though. I mean, as a zombie player, without Hulk, it's just... A, you, you end up with a pretty inconsistent and ineffective deck, I guess is how I feel about it, but... We'll just end this here. These selections are pretty mid. I don't know what's getting released after this, but... I feel like it's not going to be that much better. People are saying like Deer Note's crazy or something, but how much difference can Deer Note make when sprites drop? Well, I guess it'll assume, I'm going to assume maybe like sprites will drop like a month or two after. Like the, De well, Deer Note, I guess. So that might be impactful. I'm not sure how I feel about this though. It's just going to be pain, isn't it? Well, I'll end the video here. Bye.